Hello guys and welcome to Watching Time. Today we are going to talk about, let me just put into focus a little bit better the camera for all you to see, uh, about a brand actually, but also one of their latest models that I actually managed to buy just on release. So I just got it here and it was released yesterday. Um, that I'm really enthusiastic about because I think it's a brand that has made a lot of changes during the last 20 years of life that it has. Um, but it's one of those Swiss made brands, family owns uh, watchmaking companies that today are competing with higher brands, offering something different to the market, which is not a copy of other watches, but particularly uh, developing innovation, not in terms on movements mainly, but more on the design but especially on the functionality and i think this is very very important if you want to move forward with technology with advancement but to offer something different for different users so formex has been known mainly over the last three four years for their new models that they have developed for diving so here i'm talking about the reef model and the essence the essence obviously coming in two measures difference depending on the size. So you have the 43, which is the biggest one, and you have the 39, which is for a smaller breeze. Uh, the big difference and the big innovation that they have brought for this type of watches was the reef, the possibility to have exchangeable vessels and to facilitate the user's change uh, of the, the presentation, but also you can really tailor the watch when you are going to buy from their side because since 2016 they are developing a direct to consumers market and they decided to move forward with this type of approach uh, and then you have the essence the essence is really interesting because it presents itself with a cushion with suspension uh, uh, spring bars inside of the case that permits a slight movement of the case cushion in it eventually in the case of um, you know hitting something or something like that so it presents itself also with an innovative type of case that you don't see every day and definitely you don't see on other watches uh, the reef has a very nice diving design uh, it reminds you a little bit of a nautilus that become a submariner <laughs> or something in between but that's because today nowadays it's very difficult not to have small pieces that definitely remind you of something else uh, and yesterday well actually a couple of days ago they announced they were going to launch a new model to the line um, as i'm saying formex has been developing watches for the last 20 years so they have several interesting watches that they have developed in the past i'm thinking particularly on the driving ones there is a bullhead that i remember that was very interesting at the time but now they were marketing on a new model something that was going to be more field oriented so more a tool watch and it was the formex field very simple very direct very straightforward and what they are offering here in terms of innovation in terms of design first of all is an a very nicely executed case titanium grade 2 that has been treated by them in order to have a higher resistance for uh, scratches so this is a, a treated titanium that brings up the Vickers uh, resistance of scratches up to 900 for the around 120 that normally titanium grade 2 is. So definitely it's way, way up of normal stainless steel and it's going to resist most of, uh, let's say, scratches uh, and imprints. Uh, I have my hands dirty a little bit because I was managing before some sort of uh, grease. So actually, right now I'm just double checking, guys, because the case, as you see, it if you don't have your hands clean, it might leave a little bit of a spot on, uh, especially if they are greasy. But I'm sure it's something that you can easily wash up. Um, so and that's part of the treatment, obviously, because being matte and having these beakers uh, brought up creates this type of coat. So they presented themselves with a new tool watch. It has a very interesting dial. I hope that you can see it well from the video. It 
gives you the impression, at least I had the first impression, that it was a sandwich dial, but it's actually not. The numbers and the and the and the markers have been slightly not cut off, but slightly dented inside of the dial, so it creates a concave area in which you can fill it with the lume. In this case, a, a very low radiation old radium uh, lume that they are using. And that works very well to give this green lume light. So I'm just trying to give you kind of an idea of the type of color um, that it's going to be. And you can actually see it right there, huh? Very nicely, very well executed. It has a date at six o'clock. The numbers are very nice and elegant. I really find very interesting the font that they have used for the numbers. The colors. Well, as you can see, guys, this is not a watch that is not going that is going to pass unobserved. So they have presented several colors with this line. Um, some of them are bolder than the others. This is definitely one of the boldest one. You have a, apart from this a sage green. You have a very nice petrol blue, uh, a red kind of burgundy color. You have a gray, uh, and I think all of these colors work very well. They are kind of pastel, very light, and it gives something different. I decided to opt for the purple one, which definitely gives that extra notch. It's not for everyone. You cannot wear this in every occasion, and definitely it makes a very weird tool watch to have because it's purple. Uh, but that's, that's the kind of thing that I like. You that are not new to my channel, you know already that I love to have colors or something different apart from obviously the watch. Uh, I'm not the kind of all gray, all black watches. I have gray, I have black watches with a collection the size that I have, more than 400 watches right now and counting. I really need colorful watches. This is my first purple watch. So I'm really happy for that. Um, you have here the purple variant of the strap, leather strap, very nicely well done. I have already seen in the past the Essence watches, and I was really happy with the type of work that they do, especially for the clasp and the leather that they use. Um, and actually in their website, you can choose any color that you want. This watch will present itself on the website in two versions, the leather with clasp uh, version and the Velcro strap. This is a very well executed Velcro strap. I really love it. The Velcro strap price is around 740 euros. And this one with the leather and the clasp is around 870, if I remember correctly. So as you see, the Velcro strap reminds me some, a little bit of the Apple Watch straps, uh, but it works very well. In this case, you have the blue color that works also very nice with the purple. Um, and then, I opted for the purple strap. I think it's the boldest combination you can have from the new watches that they are launching. But I added an extra strap here, the blue one. Just wanted to show you guys. It is definitely will bring the color down a lot if you choose another type of leather strap. If you are fond of the purple, you can opt for this blue grayish a leather strap and definitely bring down the color or you can opt for the beige or the brown strap i think they will really work very well with the with this type of purple color so for me it's one of my favorite colors i know it's not for everyone but uh, definitely something to go for as i was telling you the quality of the strap it's very well done it has here the logo uh, and the back case as you can see is very clean it says feel titanium, sapphire crystal, which is also anti-reflective uh, protected, and 100 meter water resistance. So this is obviously not a diver's watch, but it's a watch that you can definitely not be afraid of getting it wet. So 150 is perfectly fine for a tool watch. The design, it's very sleek, it's very well executed, very clean in many aspects, um, as you see. Uh, definitely, if you have your hands greasy like mine, uh, I was actually <laughs> eating <laughs> a piece of cake with my hands, so they were a little greasy because of that. Uh, they get a little bit of that, so be careful with grease if you're going to be handling your watches. Um, but it's something that wash off, so that's no problem. 
Um, in terms of the glass, the sapphire works very well. And as you can see, the movement also is very sweet and uh, reliable because it has in, on its inside a Celita SW201. It's a movement that is not COSC. Usually we are used to them presenting watches with certification COSC. Celitas always, uh, the Essence and the Reef has usually a chronometer certification, but obviously you're going to be paying more. Those watches are going to be retailing over 1,300, 400 euros. Um, while here you have something well under the 800 mark. And I think this is an excellent option, guys. The watch weight, it's only 63 grams. It's very, very light with the titanium. The, the height here, it's only 10 milliliter, 10 millimeters. Milliliters, I'm starting to think about drinking here. 10 millimeters, so it's very thin. And we either with the leather or the Velcro, definitely this weights nothing. Uh, the other good thing about Formex, it's their clasp. It's a patented clasp that you will not find in other brands. So it's a carbon composite mechanism. It's very light. It has a quick uh, seven millimeter, uh, eventually um, increase or decrease. You can do it here, you see, increase or decrease in terms of size. Uh, in terms of temperature change and a very nice titanium closure that works very well and I think very elegantly done uh, for the tool watch. So my first impression here, uh, I have been wearing the watch for the greatest, greater part of the day and I have to tell you guys, I'm really, really, really happy to have gotten this watch. Uh, I really like the design, first of all. It's simple, it's a tool watch. Yes. Uh, sometimes it reminds me of other watches. I'm going to try to explain myself here. So here next to it, you have a, a boulder. This is a stainless steel treated obviously for a satin finish. And as you can see the case, so just focus on the case here, here, the lugs, the tripod shape, not the vessel, obviously. It kind of reminds me of it. Obviously this is a diver. It has the crown protector. You don't have it here and you don't have the vessel but in terms of case shape it kind of remind me especially in the type of cut that you have here they have opted to leave at the start of the strap this design here that makes you think there were it was also connected to a titanium probably strap it's not the case because they are not selling these watches with a titanium strap uh, but it's interesting because it kind of gives you the sensation and the feeling that it was because you have this shape here that reminds you of a center link so maybe in the future they will think on doing that as you can see it's very nicely done i think the design works and definitely it's something that makes it a little bit different from other watches but i just wanted to show you guys that it remind me a little bit of other watches that you might be owning uh, and the type of treatment so uh, but still it's unique it's something different it's light it's cheap yeah well not cheap but it's definitely not as expensive as other brands that are going to present themselves with several or similar characteristics um, and definitely if you want a tool watch that it's going to be versatile that it's going to be light that it's going to be functional I think this is an excellent option. So I'm glad that I added it to the collection. I'm glad that I added some of the color options. The Velcro strap is very fun to wear. I was trying that in the morning. Uh, it's easy to, to put, everything is easy to put because you have the quick release in all the straps. So you can easily change them and put them in a new clasp or change the color variations. So just tell me guys what you think of this new launch that came out from Formex. Uh, I think it's quite interesting and I really hope um, that this video is going to be of use of you if you are even considering to add another tool watch to your collection. So anyway, guys, if you like my videos, obviously subscribe and see you soon in one of our next videos. Until then, bye bye.